Hi everyone, my name is Megan Olson. I'm a master's candidate at Point Loma Nazarene University. Um, my research proposal is on promoting social emotional learning in students through in the classroom and through distance learning. The area of focus for this study is going to be on social emotional learning um, and I will be using teachers um, actual experiences in the classroom and in distance learning to see how they're promoting social emotional learning within their students. The significance of this study, um, I will be adding to the body of research on social emotional learning for young children. Uh, the study will be useful for teachers, administra administrators, and support staff. Uh, because it will be creating a resource for um, these professionals to be using in the classroom uh, to help pr promote social emotional learning within their students. My research question is how has teachers approach to s promoting social emotional learning changed from being in the classroom now to distance learning or e-learning? This is a pretty unique time in order to be looking at the differences between social emotional learning in the classroom and social emotional learning being supported through distance learning or e-learning. Here's a study that was done back in 2015 that discusses the importance of yoga implementation programs in the schools to help promote social emotional learning for all students. Um, in doing so, yoga practices also decreases psychological disorders and negative behaviors. Yoga practices have been proven to improve mood, well-being, positive behaviors, physical health, cognitive, academic performance, and relationships and quality of life. This next study by Barry, Clark, and Dowling, done back in 2017, looks at how most schools have not adopted a school-wide social emotional learning plan um, and how important it is for there to be a school-wide program. Um, there's an overall need for a more holistic approach to educating children rather than just focusing on academics. Um, and the importance of school-wide change in promoting social emotional learning rather than sporadic change that might be happening. So, this study takes a look at the differences between a school-wide um, social-emotional learning plan um, compared to a more sporadic type of change that might be occurring. This study is a qualitative type of research study. The subjects are going to be teachers who are currently teaching in either a private or public school in a K-8 through setting. The data will be collected through a teacher survey that spans over eight weeks. The teacher survey includes six questions where the teachers will need to specify if they are teaching a private or public school, what platform they are currently teaching from, either in the classroom, distance learning, learning center resource room, co-teaching, or other. They will need to specify if their school is taking steps to help promote social emotional learning for their students. If so, um, they'll need to give a brief description of what this, their school is currently doing for the 2020-2021 school year. They will also need to specify what steps they might be taking in their own classroom. And again, just giving a brief description of what they actually are doing within their classroom. Uh, teachers will also need to uh, answer if, they're promote, if, if they are promoting social emotional learning, um, are they using an evidence-based research program? Um, and if they are, I would just like them to explain what that program might be in order for me or another teacher to be able to dive a little bit deeper into that type of research. Um, there, the last question is just, the teachers can add any additional information they feel comfortable sharing about social emotional learning. Uh, they can share books, other resources that they might be using to help promote social emotional learning in their classroom. Um, 
I will be distributing the survey via email. I'll probably be doing it on a Google uh, questionnaire uh, for the teachers to be able to fill out because this research study spans over several different states. I wanna be able to get the survey out as quickly as possible and be able to receive it back as quickly as possible as well. Uh, the states again are California, Vermont, and Florida. In order for me to be able to analyze the data, I will analyze all the surveys that are collected and I will be just looking for any types of uh, patterns or trends that are happening across states. Um, I, again, am unsure of exactly what trends or patterns I might be finding, but I will just be comparing and contrasting between states uh, for analysis of data. Um, the ethical considerations for this study are just making sure that the privacy of each uh, participant is kept private. Uh, these are all teachers that I have worked with in the past, so I do know them, but I will be sending the survey anonymously, so I will be receiving the surveys anonymously, so the privacy of those participants will be kept secret. And some limitations of the study are it's going to be a small sample size, and again, that these are um, participants that I have worked with in the past. Um, I've worked in Vermont, California, and now Florida. So again, these are all people that I have worked with. So those are the limitations to the research. Thank you very much.